Hello everyone, today we're going over the best way to utilize your gems or diamonds inside AFK Journey. And this is a question that's getting thrown around a ton right now. Now for reference, I only have been playing the game for about say 30 days or so on the PTR. So I don't know if there's any special events that pop up that require diamonds. At least I didn't see any that were within those 30 days. Luckily for us, there's not a lot of places to be able to use these diamonds in the game right now, and your first priority should be that all hero recruitment, the one that you're going to be spending 2700 gems on to get 10 pulls, and if you have some invite letters, it'll do the difference on it. But by all means, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but just to throw it out there, you never want to do a single pull for 300. Always save up the 10 or at least make the difference to do a 10 pull, which ends up saving you 300 gems because it's 2700. And where I say that the all hero recruitment is kind of the main place you want to spend gems, this is going to be short lived the second you unlock the arena. You'll be able to battle four times and then after that you can purchase five extra tries with diamonds. And originally it was zero the first time, but now I think it's 10, 20, 20, 20 and 30 or it's about 100 gems altogether. But the rewards you're going to be getting from the arena just by advancing further supersede the amount of gems that you're spending anyways on it. So it's a no brainer in my opinion. I did burn up a turn on the honor duel. It looks like that one is purchasing with coins, but another spot that you can actually use diamonds or gems is going to be on the hourglass inside your AFK progress. Now I myself, I stay away from these. I'm not a big believer in going and spending the gems on it, but I know a lot of people in other games like to go for this. I am just never one to really invest into that. So where we start off needing the all hero recruitment and then we switch over to our priority of the arena, we still wanna make sure we're pulling on those all hero recruitments. Still, arena's priority, but we wanna to try to get this to the point of getting those 400 pulls in the actual banners themselves. This is where we unlock the Stargaze Station and this is where we get those Hypogean and Celestial heroes. Now we will be able to purchase these Stargaze Crystals inside the guild shop. So once again, join the guild immediately. This is what you want to get out of these things. And I believe we can get five or six of them. They're about 400 gems a piece. It does sound pretty steep, but we have the whole month to purchase them. So I don't feel like you need to blow all your currency at once, but you know, maybe get one or two of them a week. I think this is a good value for them. As far as the epic invite letter though, I'm a little bit hesitant on those. I mean, I guess if I needed one more for a 10 pull or something, I might grab one, but really the stargaze is my main focus. I will, however, though, buy that regular invite letter for 210. Like I said, normally the all hero bonuses, if you buy its toll, it's going to be 300. If you're buying 10 of them, that's 2,700, which is 270 a piece. So it only makes sense that this 210 is worth the value. And the acorns themselves, I'm not really buying these yet, even after playing for 30 days. This is something that is gonna be required for a good amount once we get a good amount of epic heroes. They take a lot of acorns throughout the game. So I would probably say maybe wait to the point and see how your heroes are doing, how fast you're upgrading them. And if you do need acorns, start investing them in that. And these blue looking key things, these are going to be our essence for when you go and take a hero to legendary plus. You'll be able to upgrade their skill inside the game. And this is one I would say go ahead and purchase this if you don't have enough of them to go and upgrade your hero. So this is the way I've been playing the game and it works out pretty good for me just to kind of rehash on it. All hero recruitment until you unlock the arena. Make the arena your first highest priority. I'd probably come into this guild shop next and make sure I'm getting that 210 one every single day. And then I would also scatter getting some of these stargaze crystals, depending on how far you are away from reset. Then it's back over to the all hero recruitment until I need some acorns or need some of these essence for leveling up my legendary plus. But I am staying away from the hourglass and also staying away from these epic invite letters. I'll get those with my dolly tickets. But don't go away yet because there's one thing I still didn't cover and that's the rate up banner inside the game. Right now it is Vala and a lot of people have high ratings for Vala and then our people just don't like her at all. So kind of use your own judgment on it. Starting off in the game right now, I would say get these all hero recruitments, but keep your eyes on those banners. If you do see a hero that looks good to you, like let's say that a thorn popped up inside there, I would be investing every single gem I had to try to get all those six pulls possible. So it really comes down to what you need in your arsenal. Are you looking for a light bearer, rogue, physical hero to add to your team? 
as I said, this is a way that's been working for me and how I'm spending my gems inside the game. And it seems to be doing me pretty well. So if you guys got a way that you're doing it and want to share, put it in the comments below. Be happy and glad to see how other people are playing the game. If you guys want to know everything about it, check out my ultimate beginner guide right here. Thanks for watching. And remember, I pick my butt.